The first is how the internet works. What is the purpose of hosting? Web hosting is an online service that allows you to publish your website files onto the internet. So, anyone who has access to the internet has access to your website. In practice, it usually refers to the service you get from a web hosting provider like one.com. However, the various company provide a hosting solution such as Bluehost continues to impress in almost every aspect delivering the complete package of speed, security, versatility, and most importantly, superb reliability for just $2.75 per month. Another company HostGator. HostGator has surprised us with an exclusive offer that delivers some of the best shared hosting features we've seen for a very long time, with a slew of freebies like domain names, an SSL certificate, and marketing money from only $2.64 per month. Moreover, another company hosting or its cloud hosting is a new buzz in category and hosting or is top of the list with its advanced solution. The cheapest plan provides unlimited bandwidth, hosting for up to 300 websites and up to 100 email accounts per domain, plus a plethora of other features. It's keenly priced as well at $9.99 per month. There are four main types of web hosting. Shared hosting, VPS virtual private server hosting, dedicated hosting. What is DNS? The domain name system, DNS turns domain names into IP addresses which browsers use to load internet pages. Every device connected to the internet has its IP address, which is used by other devices to locate the device. DNS maps domain names with IP addresses enabling humans to use memorable domain names while computers on the internet can use IP addresses. What is HTTP? It's Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP is an application layer protocol for transmitting hypermedia documents, such as HTML. It was designed for communication between web browsers and web servers, but it can also be used for other purposes. As a request-response protocol, HTTP gives users a way to interact with web resources such as HTML files by transmitting hypertext messages between clients and servers. What is a browser? A web browser, commonly referred to as a browser, is application software for accessing the World Wide Web. When a user requests a web page from a particular website, the web browser retrieves the necessary content from a web server and then displays the page on the user's device. Google Chrome is shown by the graph at hand. Google Chrome has been the most popular browser. Firefox is far better and utilizes few recourses compare with Google Chrome. However, in terms of rendering the web pages, Chrome sometimes outbeat Firefox since it's always in active mode and utilizing much CPU and RAM. Opera speed dial menu that puts all your most frequently visited pages in one place. Google Chrome also does this but only on a blank new tab. Finally, Opera has a built-in unlimited VPN service making it a more secure browser option. What is the use of a domain name? A domain name is a string of text that maps to a numeric IP address used to access a website from client software. In plain English, a domain name is a text that a user types into a browser window to reach a particular website. For instance, the domain name for Google is google.com. Our second topic is about basic tools. Here, the first thing is a text editor. A text editor is a program on your computer that allows you to create and edit a range of programming language files. Means this is the place where you write your code. Text editors handle hand coding in many different languages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, Python, and so forth. What is the use of versus code? Visual Studio Code is a streamlined code editor with support for development operations like debugging, task running, and version control. What is the use of Sublime Text? Sublime Text is a commercial source code editor. It natively supports many programming languages and markup languages. What is the use of Atom? Atom is a desktop application built with HTML. 
JavaScript, CSS, and Node.js integration. It runs on Electron, a framework for building cross-platform maps for Windows, Linux, and OS X. What are the means of terminal? Terminals, also known as command lines or consoles, allow us to accomplish and automate tasks on a computer without the use of a graphical user interface. The terminal is the actual interface to the console that you can type and execute text-based commands. What is the use of PowerShell? As a scripting language, PowerShell is commonly used for automating the management of systems. It is also used to build, test, and deploy solutions, often in CD environments. PowerShell is built on the What is the purpose of ITRM use? iTerm2 supports user-defined triggers, which are actions that run when text matching a regular expression is received. You can use it to highlight words, automatically respond to prompts, notify you when something important happens, and more. What is the use of Bash? Basher Shell is a command line tool that is used in open science to efficiently manipulate files and directories. It is used in most Bash built-in commands and many other commands to signify the end of command options, after which only positional arguments are accepted. What is the use of Git Bash? Git Bash is an application that provides Git command line experience on the operating system. It is a command line shell for enabling Git with the command line in the system. A shell is a terminal application used to interface with an operating system through written commands. Which tools use for design? Design tools are objects, media, or computer programs which can be used to design. They may influence the process of production, expression, and perception of design ideas and therefore need to be applied skillfully. What is the use of Figma? Figma is a web-based graphics editing and user interface design app. You can use it to do all kinds of graphic design work from wireframing websites, designing mobile app interfaces, prototyping designs, crafting social media posts, and everything in between. What is the use of Adobe XD? Adobe XD is the Adobe prototyping tool for user experience and interaction designers. Adobe XD features are used for creating wireframes, prototypes, and screen designs for digital products such as websites and mobile apps. What is the use of sketch? A simply or hastily executed drawing or painting, especially a preliminary one. Giving the essential features without the details. A rough design, plan, or draft, as of a book. A brief or hasty outline of facts, occurrences, etc. What is the use of Photoshop? When most people think of graphic design, they think of Photoshop. And it's true, Photoshop is the most powerful app for both creating and enhancing images. Layers make it simple to develop templates that can be edited and rearranged with one click. Our second topic is about what is JavaScript. JavaScript is commonly used for creating web pages. It allows us to add dynamic behavior to the web page and add special effects to the web page. On websites, it is mainly used for validation purposes. JavaScript helps us to execute complex actions and also enables the interaction of websites with visitors. What is the basic syntax of JavaScript? The syntax of JavaScript is the set of rules that define a correctly structured JavaScript program. The examples below make use of the log function of the console object present in most browsers for standard text output. The JavaScript standard library lacks an official standard text output function. What is the use of Fetch API? The Fetch API provides a JavaScript interface for accessing and manipulating parts of the HTTP pipeline, such as requests and responses. Fetch makes it easier to make web requests and handle responses than with the old XML HTTP request, which often requires additional logic, for example, for handling redirects. What is the use of JSON? JavaScript Object Notation JSON is a standard text-based format for representing structured data based on JavaScript object syntax. It is commonly used for transmitting data in web applications, e.g., sending some data from the server to the client so it can be displayed on a web page, or vice versa. 
What is the use of DOM manipulation? The Document Object Model DOM, is a programming interface for web documents. It is the same document but the Document Object Model representation allows it to be manipulated as an object-oriented representation of the web page. It can be modified with a scripting language such as JavaScript. Third is what is a front-end framework. The front end of the website or application is the stuff visible to the user on the website. In addition, it includes building user-friendly interfaces and efficiently presenting the data from the back end to a user. Thus, a front end framework is a platform tool to build the front end of your website. What is the use of React Framework? React is a JavaScript library for building modern applications. React is used for handling the view layer and can be used for the development of both web and mobile applications. One of the most known features of React is its ability to leverage the benefits of search engine optimization CO. By using React, businesses can considerably reduce page load times and start ranking higher in search engines. What is the use of the View Framework? Vue.js is a progressive framework for JavaScript used to build web interfaces and one-page applications. Not just for web interfaces. Vue.js is also used both for desktop and mobile app development with the Electron framework. Some of the major global websites using Vue.js are Facebook, Netflix, and Adobe. What is the use of the Svelte framework? Svelte is a tool for building fast web applications. It is similar to JavaScript frameworks such as React and Vue, which share the goal of making it easy to build slick interactive user interfaces. What is the use of Angular framework? AngularJS is a structural framework for dynamic web apps. It lets you use HTML as your template language and lets you extend HTML syntax to express your application's components clearly and succinctly. AngularJS's data binding and dependency injection eliminate much of the code you would otherwise have to write. Thank you for watching. If you like this video then click on like button and subscribe our channel. Moreover, please stay tuned with us for more parts. However, if you miss the first video then check out the link under description box. If you have any question then comments in comment box. I am try to solve the problem. Thank you.